Hello, hello, hello my friends, how are you? Dzień dobry, dzień dobry, witam serdecznie. Hello, hello, is anyone here? Um, is anyone watching? Uh, let me have a look. Oh, I'll go here myself. Is anyone else watching, my friends? I'm hoping. Oh, someone is just showing. Let me just quickly put that one on and I hope you're hearing me well please let me know that my friends because I would love to know if you're hearing me well hello how are you my friends oh hi Ella hello hello I'm just gonna get myself set up my friends just give me one second oh hello hi Claire let me know if you're hearing me right and I'm just gonna be pasting the link to uh, our classes to my craft world friends and bear with me i'll be there just in one second my friends um, let me see um how was your day my friends let me know how was your day and see if i could find it oh, where is this one here okay am i right are you hearing me well uh where is this? Oh my gosh, where am I? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm here. Right, so just give me one second, my friends. And I am just copying the code and pasting it here. Where was it? Okay, and let me see. Um, and update. Okay, and I'll be right with you, my friends. Just give me one single second. Hello, hi, Anya, hi, Deborah, hi, Carla, hi, Julie, hi, everyone. Hello, hello, my friends, hello. I am warmly welcoming you uh, from sunny Northern Scotland for a change. We have a very, very beautiful day today. And oh, yeah, I think it's showing here as well. Perfect, and now the last thing I'm gonna do I'll just copy and paste the link for you and I'll be right with you. Oh, hi Martusia, Vitai. Hello, hello, hello. Mm, okay. And let me see. And I'm just coming back. Oh, why are you working so slow? Why are you working so slow? Okay. So, hello, hello. I'm here. <laughs> How are you, my friends? Uh, it's Sunday. Another classes. Uh, thank you so much, Debbie. This is just a, uh, I'll give you something to watch while I'm pasting the links for a craft world. And uh, for those of you who are new here, hello, my name is Marta. You can know me as a drop of sunshine. And on my inspirational group, I've just posted a three uh, downloadable. Oh, that's the old version actually. But there is a paper with the um, with the elements. There is a background paper. And there is another one. Let me grab it. Oh, here we go. There is another one with the eight by eight paper and the slim paper and couple cards I've created today actually. Uh, so, oh hello hello. Uh, oh my goodness, who's here? Oh hi Ella. Hi Cindy. Hello my dear. Vita uh, uh, Marishu. Hi Ella. Cześć Artur. Uh, hi Debbie. Cześć Martusia. Hi Julie. Uh, I think Carla, hello, hello, uh, Vitae Maria, uh, Claire, hello, hello. <laughs> uh, how are you today? So, uh, uh, where was I? Ah, on a, uh, our drop of inspiration group, there's a new download papers for you, my friends. So you can see a uh, quick few cards I've created today. I hope you enjoy them and I hope you will enjoy this paper because I absolutely love it. I must tell you, my friends, I don't like the orange color. I don't know for why and why I don't like it. But now when I've conjoined it together with the purple, I just love it. <laughs> I hope you will love this paper too. It's free to download for everyone who would like it. Kochani, na naszej inspiracyjnej grupce są darmowe papierki do pobrania. Moje podziękowanie dla was, że jesteście i tak dużo się was zebrało i kilka karteczek. Oh, and I also have this Bulgarian uh, sentiment because so many uh, Bulgarian friends has recently joined the group. Uh, so I just wanted to say thank you to all of you 
and uh, yeah if anyone is speaking a different language let me know on a drop of inspiration group maybe at some point with another bonus paper i could include your language a jeśli uh, teraz był taki napis uh, bułgarski bo dużo właśnie bułgarskich przyjaciół pojawiło się na grupie więc pomyślałam że jakbyście chcieli coś innego jeszcze to dajcie znać i też sobie jakiś inny napisek wrzucimy kochani Zaczynamy, tylko ja się nie przygotowałam. Papieru sobie nie wzięłam. Poczekajcie chwilę. I forgot to bring some papers. Right. I've got a stack of the white paper. That should do. Maybe a couple of hard bases. Uh, I'm always running late. One thing is not changing. I'm always last minute, my friends. But we're playing with some uh, embossing folders. I have the whole selection of the embossing folders here. And I must to tell you, my friends, I am insane. <laughs> I am insane hoarder if it comes for embossing folder. Hi, Susie. Hello, hello. Welcome. You're not late, my friend. I'm always late, so <laughs> a few minutes before we start. I am obsessive hoarder if it comes for embossing folder. And I do have uh, tons of them. I don't even gonna be showing you how many of them I have, but I have a box, I have another box, and I have a, one more box, so it's just too much. But I'm always like, you know, uh, collecting those uh, embossing folders, and I was like, oh, I'm not really making the most of them. Like, some of them are the free uh, from the magazines, like the, the little ones like that, and I'm always like, oh, what to do with them? And they're just lying around, basically. And today I thought, today it's the day I'm gonna be creating the card uh, or two cards uh, depending on how quickly we're gonna be working with some of them and just, just play and having fun. Kochani, zobaczcie, ja mam w ogóle zatrzęsienie tych embossingów. Dużo z nich jest właśnie z takich małych gazetek i ja gdzieś to zbieram. O, ten jest fajny. Oh, have a look on that. That's a nice one. Oh, you see? I have so many of them that I don't even remember what I have. So uh, that's too much. <laughs> that's too much. So today I uh, think I'm gonna be making a card uh, just entirely using only embossing folders. as well, some coloring mediums as well, uh, something like that. Oh, Cindy also have an embossing folder addiction, so I'm not the only one. Witaj Kasiu, witaj, witaj kochana. So uh, Basically, I'm just rambling over my embossing folder, trying to find a few interesting one, uh, which could be good for some techniques. Uh, I don't know. Oh, wavy one. I like the wavy one. And that's a nice flowers. And we're gonna be creating cards, some cards, at least one card. Oh, that's the one. Oh, I love it. Oh, the lacy one are beautiful. I just love them. Okay. Oh, this is a fun one, but okay, we don't have as much time because uh, now. So let me start. First and foremost, uh, let's do something uh, simple. I'm gonna be creating a card, and um, uh, let me get myself a card uh, card base first. Why not? Uh, card base. I'm using just a regular paper. I'm scoring it halfway through, which is. Five and seven eight. I don't have to even look on that anymore because I've been scoring hundreds of those cards and I've got the A5 size card base. And we can chop it half and then we have the two A6 size, but I don't like the small card. I don't know. For some reason I always think that uh, it's not enough space for me. <laughs> oh Susie's also having addiction. Uh, so Mm, first step, I'll be creating some background and we can do actually two things. What can we do? Oh, I'll take the scripty one. Uh, normally, in the first step, uh, we can do... Uh, where's my gelatin? That's too much paper. Usually, whenever we create the embossing, we just put our paper up and that's it. But today I'm going to be starting from doing some letter pressing technique. Did I cut it right? No. Too much. Too much, Marta. Okay, let me just chop it a little bit extra. And then a couple bit from here. 
Zobaczcie, biorę sobie kawałek papieru i normalnie jak korzystam z folderu do embossingu, to zawsze sobie po prostu ten papier wkładamy i już. A przecież można się trochę bardziej pobawić, nie? I teraz tak, która tu jest strona? O, tą stronę. So, normally I would put my embossing folder this way up, so I have this raised edge. But today, for a change, I'm switching the sides and I'm just gonna be doing the uh, letter pressing technique. And for that, I'm gonna be needing some nice, something nice. Let me see. <laughs> some nice color, nice shade. Uh, or I know what I'm gonna do. No, I'm changing my plan. I'll do that in a second. But before, before I'm gonna do that, I'm actually gonna be adding some color first. So it's not gonna be as plain paper. And for adding my color, let me see. I want something nice and bright. And... Oh, why not? Okay, so <laughs> let's start. Uh, I've got a piece of your foil. Will that do? Ah, that'll do. So, I'm just adding a drops of the ink to my page, just like that. No brainer, no overthinking, uh, just a little bit here and there, and maybe a little bit of this color, just a teeny tiny bit. Now, for the darker one, let me just grab a piece of the sponge. I don't want those harsh lines, so I'm taking a piece of the, I'll add a little bit extra color. And because I don't want those harsh lines, I'm just dabbing it just a teeny tiny bit. Just so I'm not going to have those, uh, oh, look on my hand. Look on my hand, my friends, never mind. So just a little bit. Okay, and first my wipes. <laughs> Ok, rozprowadzam sobie trochę koloru tego distresu na koszulce, tak żeby miała tylko jakiś podkładkowy kolor e, na mój papier. I teraz, a drop of water, why do I have a spray, not mist? Oh, ok, and now I am placing my card. And I am just gently pressing, just a teeny tiny bit, and you can work out this color with your finger, give it a little bit more squish, and then we're gonna have some nice lovely color here, just a, just a little bit. And then we can take it off, add it on a little bit extra, and we will have this watercolor look. And once it's still wet, I'm gonna add a couple of the droplets, just like that. Make sure the color will lift. I'll leave it a couple seconds. And I'm gonna grab my kitchen towel just to take off the excess. And I have this beautiful, very lightweight um, embossed color. Not embossed, uh, the watercolor look, sorry. <laughs> Marta. Okay, and I'll give it a minute to dry. Just a little bit. Okay, and maybe I wanted a little bit extra of the pinkish color. So what I'm gonna do, I will wipe off the excess on my foil. Zobaczcie, mam trochę takiego turkusowego kolorku, ale dodam sobie jeszcze troszeczkę tego różu, ponieważ tak mi się wydaje, że czegoś mi tu brakuje. I troszeczkę znowu e, rozcieram tą gąbeczką. My friends, I'm using a sponge because I don't want those harsh lines. E, so many times I did it. I never tap with the sponge and then once I made the impression I had this harsh line which is good for some look like if, if this is the look you're achieving for then it's great but today I want to really have this very very nice blended look 
So I'm adding a drop of this pinkish color and just very, very gently pressing it, uh, letting the color to work out on the paper. And then once I have it ready, I am just lifting it. And again, uh, I'm just spraying it, letting the water to uh, help me take off some of the color. And then I am just using my uh, kitchen towel uh, to take the color. So, i zobaczcie, kochani. Troszkę popsikałam i teraz sobie zdejmuję część tego kolorku i nadal mam ten piękny kolorek, ale troszeczkę z takimi e, różowymi e, przemyciami. Have a look on that, my friends. Oh, isn't it gorgeous? Zobaczcie, o. I teraz tak, wycieram sobie tutaj, dam chwileczkę wyschnąć temu papierkowi. This is very wet at the moment, so I'm just gonna give it a couple seconds to dry, uh, because I don't want to, uh, you know, destroy the paper. Uh, next step, what I'm gonna be doing is, I want some greenery. I would like to get some greenery, and let me see. Where's my green ink? And why is it not here? Um, no! Okay, that will do. That will do. Now, next step, I have this piece of the card left over. And what I'm gonna be doing is I want to create some leaves. And for that, I will grab this sponge and a couple of the inks just so I could add some, some color. It does not have to be distressing. You can actually use something else uh, for a change. Why not? Oh, let me use those sprays. Uh, you can use acrylic paint, you can use gelatos, uh, markers, whatever you have, or you can use the plain green color cardstock. That will be working fine as well. Uh, it just happened that uh, I like to color my papers myself. So look on the couple sprays, just like that, and just a couple dabs. And I have my green color cardstock, which will help me to create some, some greenery. And then a little piece extra of the paper. And where's my gelatin? And we're gonna be creating some flowers off as well. I will try not to use any dyes today and just create a lovely looking card with the help of the embossing folders. We'll see if it's possible and let me grab another sprays. I love those sprays. Uh, whoever watched my YouTube channel and you've been seeing, I've been using it plenty times and I just absolutely don't have enough of them. They're absolutely amazing, they're shiny, they're very concentrated with the color and they're just beautiful. And the formula is that the, um, the shimmer, I don't know what's, whatever type of the shimmer it is, it's never settled down on a ball, so it will never clog your ball, my friends. Oh, hi Linda, hello, hello. Uh, kochani, to są moje ukochane sprayki um, Izin Aladine. To są najlepsze sprayki, jakie mam. One są bardzo świecące, bardzo są nasączone w ogóle kolorem i ja po prostu uwielbiam z nich korzystać. Mało tego, mają właśnie taki połysk i ten połysk powoduje to, kochani, że one Wam się nie, nie blokują te buteleczki. Nigdy, przenigdy nie miałam żadnego kłopotu właśnie, żeby mi się te butelki zablokowały, tylko to jest taka formuła, że ona jakby jest cały czas zawieszony ten to sreberko tutaj, nie wiem co to jest, żeby się tam świeciło, ale wygląda to przecudnie i one są piękne pastelowe, jak się je korzysta z gąbeczki, a jak się sprejuje, to są takie właśnie bardzo wyraziste, fajne kolory. Something nice. Ok, so I've got one for the greenery, I have one for the flowers. Now where's my, where is my folder? So, as I've mentioned, I'm gonna be doing leather pressing. And for that, I want to have yeah i'll put my paper upside down usually this is the side which is uh, embossed 
and usually your pattern on your embossing folder is over there and you put your paper like that but I'm just putting it on another side and let me just grab this peacock oh why is it oh, this is why I've got my hand oh do you know what it was lying it was lying sideways and look on that my friends look on that don't store your distress sideways <laughs> here's a tip for you and I was like why did I get my hands dirty so quickly I barely start my life but this is the reason this is the reason okay it's too splashy let me just grab something else ah never mind never mind those things happen at least we know <laughs> i should know okay something nice in similar color family yeah. i've got this this ink um, so let me see i'm gonna be placing my paper like that and then very very gently i am going over the rice part of the of the image and just very very gently just like that don't get yourself too much stress my friends if something gets getting you know in between you get a drop of the color mm. you can you can clean it up if you want to but I'm not gonna be too much bothered I am just very very gently trying to go over the area where my sentiments is and maybe the sides as well why not making sure i've got it colored very nicely okay now i know i know debbie but i've just start <laughs> i've just start and my hands are just absolutely now i'm trying to not move my paper and very very quickly shut my my embossing folder to the paper and now without the moving i will be putting it through my uh, die cutting machine let me just grab the machine over i have no enough space on my desk my friends <laughs> let me see okay and I think this should be good and now I'm gonna go over oh. my plate is slightly bent which means it's time for changing it for a new one okay oh right Whew. we've got it Hopefully it worked nice and I haven't shifted my paper, but let me have a look. Ah, come on, come on, come on. And the time for reveal. Yes. Ah, the ink is not as dark as I was expecting, but you can see we've got this letter pressing. I should probably reach for a different color. That one was too close. Uh, this one is a little bit darker, but it was just... Uh, bleeding so i thought it will be all too messy but i love it i really really love those letter pressing when the letters are colored and they just squished in i should probably use the darker tone now i know that but never mind we all learn from the experience oh vitae vanju vitae vitae by the way my friends let me know how is the weather looks like in your place because here it's unbelievably warm I mean, it's not like hot, like summer, uh, like Polish summer hot, but uh, if it comes for a northern Scotland, it's a really, really great day and it's sunny for most of the day. We didn't have any rain today, so I'm super happy. I'm just wiping it straight away. And now, next bit we're going to be doing is we are needing for our card some focal point and for the focal point i'm thinking oh I, i'm gonna use that one as well i think i'm gonna be using that one as well but for that 
I will be using the mm, brown color ink. So, oh, sorry, my plate. Now I need to grab the brown color paper. Mm -hmm. Okay, something like that. And now I'm just gonna chop it to the sides. To the sides. Let me see where's the. Just like that. So I don't have enough enough space and where's my chopping board? Oh, sunny and hot in Devon. Cool day in Norfolk. Sticky and hot. Thunder. Oh my gosh, Debbie's having thunders. Oh. I hope it's not gonna be anything serious. I'm scared of the thunderstorms. I really do. Uh, where did I put the line? Here. Okay. So now this time what i want to do is is the right age which one is up uh, i'll do a different no i'll do this way this way again because i want to cut it out i'm gonna be cutting out those elements later on but i'm just gonna be adding the color to my embossing panel first okay and now I'm just gonna gently close my folder and run it through and you know what my friends I have my machine down there so I'll just do it on the side because I will not I'm gonna have a sore hands if I'll be like putting back and forth this machine and it will take a time so I'll just do it quicker over here when I'm on the side. Um, let me just put that one here. This is gorgeous. I think it would be gorgeous to go on the cards on its own. Uh, oh, someone's having a rain. A jaka pogoda w Polsce, kochani? Dajcie znać, kto ogląda, kto patrzy. Look on that. I really, really like those those clocks. It's kind of a good for a gentleman card, I think. Now, my friends, I want to create something no i'll leave it for a next card actually i'm changing a plan five times my friends uh, um <laughs> but you should know by now that i'm not crafting like i'm not prepared for those life <laughs> and since it's life crafting then uh, we can come up with some ideas and create as we go now different thing i wanted to do first and foremost what i'm gonna be doing i thought I have this waving uh, pattern embossing, but it doesn't have to be wave. It could be some lines or anything like a wooden pattern as well. But it will be working well for this design. So whatever, like a very um, rustic um, type of the embossing will, will work here as well. What I'm going to be doing, my friends, I'm going to draw myself a basket. Why not? And I've got this brown color cardstock, and then I need some mm, top bit as well, and just a basic drawing, nothing really complicated. You can do it as well. Who's crafting with me, by the way? Kohani, Daichi Znać, who is crafting with me? Are you creating along, or are you just watching? Right now. What I'm going to be doing is, I will cut this one out, oh. I'm going to cut this one out just like that.
and if you don't have any design pattern like that you can put your element on the scoring board and just create a little like a scoring line as well <laughs> oh, no I'm not as fast Cindy I'm just uh, I'm just having a little baby <laughs> I think like once once you have a little kiddo home you just know that you go very uh, very limited time and I know myself since since I'm having Wojtosz since I'm having my son I've just learned to craft 10 times faster than normally I was before <laughs> right so I'm just cutting it just like that we've got uh, our base we've got our uh, what's that this this hanging thing holding thing oh I forgot the name but you know what I mean, my friends. You know what I mean. Um, now, I have my uh, rubber uh, eraser. I have my eraser somewhere here. Oh, there it is. I've got it. And I'm just gonna clear those pencil marks. Zobaczcie, kochani, wycięłam sobie koszyczek i teraz go sobie tutaj wsadzę do takiego foldera, ale jak nie macie takiego foldera, to możecie sobie go y, na tablicy do biegowania zrobić takie małe kreseczki i też będzie wyglądało fajnie po prostu jakiś ciekawy wzorek. And I am just placing it. I will just put it through the machine. So just give me one second. And then we're going to have this beautiful embossed design. Okay, here we go. Now, look on that, my friends. This looks like a basket, like a wave basket. It's really, really nice. This is the very old folder from the uh, We Are Memory Keepers. Uh, so if anyone will be interested, I could give you a name. Oh, I've got the old sponge for the brown color ink and I'm just gonna very very gently add a drop of the color to my basket. Oh, Wandia mówi, że ogląda później, że uh, robi później, a ogląda teraz. Oh, my friend says she's watching now and then she's creating later on. I'm just gonna add the color just a teeny tiny bit so I could have a little bit like um, a little bit dimension. I need some more brownish color ink. And where do I have it? Something whoa, something darker. Let me see. Vintage fall. Why not? Just something on the edges. Ah, uh, yeah, <laughs> I know the seagulls are everywhere. I'm actually lucky that this year we don't have any baby seagull on the roof because uh, my friends, if I walk out the door and I walk around like, I don't know, less than 100 meters, I'm on the coastal line. It's not a beach. We don't have a beach here because it's this like a, a stone cliff. Uh, the beach is like 15 min minutes away, but you can hear the seagulls definitely. And as much as I love seagulls, I don't love them at 4 a.m. o'clock. <laughs> when it's already bright and they start singing, it's something like <laughs> whoever lives on the sea, you know what, I'm, what I mean. And look on that, we've got our beautiful... Um, letter press effect and we've got this basket and now it's time to create some flowers and for my flowers my friends i thought i have this embossing folder with the flower design and i'm also having something like that and i really like those roses i think i'm gonna use those roses and you can look for your embossing uh, folders you have with your flower designs and look what I'm I'm gonna be placing them 
just like that I will cut it half because I don't want the whole uh, the whole uh, paper to be embossed I only want to place my embossing folder where I have these designs so I have those roses embossed and you can just turn them around a little bit just so it's gonna be matching it's just gonna save you a paper rather than embossing the whole page you can just emboss whatever you need and here I am embossing a little bit here as well and have a look and I'm just gonna be creating myself some flowers down but never mind never mind I was planning to do it different way but I'm just gonna do I'm just gently gonna take my scissors and just cut around those roses here we go it will just take a second and I'm sure any any embossing flower uh, flower design like um, anything you have even like papers like that you can put the pieces emboss the flowers and cut around them so there's plenty like i've got plenty of those embossing folders with the magazines and they all will be working well kochani każdy jedno folder do embossingu który ma jakiś tam kwiatuszek możecie sobie właśnie takie elementy porobić a nawet jeśli nie macie kwiatuszków, to też możecie sobie jakiś fajny wzorek wytłoczyć i wyciąć z niego elementy kwiatkowe. Zobaczcie, dzisiaj się bawimy z folderami do embossingu. Żadnych papierów skrapkowych, żadnych tam wykrojników. Może coś tam później jeszcze wykorzystamy, ale póki co robię sobie piękne kwiatusie. Have a look on that. They just gorgeous. I zobaczcie, wcale to dużo czasu nie zajmuje. This is not taking as much amount of the time. And have a look on that, my friends. Look on those beautiful, beautiful flowers. And because they are um, mixed in color, this is also enhancing them. If you would do the same with the uh, single color paper, if you would have this like a just a one color paper that would not be looking as nice i'm telling you straight away this is why i love to color my paper or i love to cut my designs uh, from the designer paper because i think they're just looking much more realistic and not as flat as cut from the plain paper but if you've got a plain paper you can also do it it will be looking nice as well or you can add some extra ink like take very pale pink color paper and then just like add a little bit of the orangey or something just to mix it up those colors a little bit mm. oh dziękuję ci bardzo Wandziu bardzo mi miło uh, my friend just said I am just surprising her with new ideas every time so it's really really nice to hear thank you so much Wandia uh, thank you so much everyone uh, for all your kind words and and everything this is really really uh, nice of you for for all of your support now i've got that oh i've got one more one more okay just a little bit i'm actually happy i did it this way uh, because that way i have this nice border around and then uh, the image impressed to the inside right so we've got that and now let me just see if I could take a little bit of the pinkish color, a little bit darker pink. Let me see. I'm just going to be testing if I will go over the edges a little bit. Would that not look a little bit better? Oh, 
Well, I'm sure, Cindy, they're pretty. I'm pre pretty much sure they are pretty. Um, okay, and just a little bit just to enhance those edges. So once you have the flowers, they will be much more visible. Once they have this darkened edge, they will be easier to distinguish the, you know, one flower from another. Okay, so I'm just going around the edges just like that. Last one. Okay, I'll let them dry. Oh, I really like them. Look on them. I'm just gonna show you them a little bit closer to the camera because I really, really love them. I absolutely love them. And this is just a plain white paper. If anyone just join us, uh, hello, welcome. Uh, we're playing with the embossing folders and we create a card from the embossing folders no dice um, no other elements uh, i'll try to use up as much embossing folders as possible now this one i'm gonna take a piece and let me see i'm gonna be chopping myself a couple of the leaves because why not and i'm just gonna be doing some shapes something looking nice Mm. Okay, and not too big, so they will be looking nice uh, with our roses. I'm creating a couple of the leaves just now, and I'm just cutting them out from the paper I've colored. Oh, that's so nice. That's so nice, Carla. Uh, so, yeah, I had to make myself m coffee myself, but my lovely husband is absolutely lovely and he's just watching our son just now so I could be here with you, my friends. So, mm, he's really kind of to me as well. <laughs> He's been watching our son for a whole day. Yesterday I was working. I was over nine hour shift whole day yesterday. And then today morning I had some bits to, uh, to catch up and some extra bonus content to prepare. So he was watching basically the whole day again. <laughs> oh, I'm missing my baby. I'm missing both of my boys. But once we finish we're gonna have some time together on the evening and maybe we can go for another walk on the beach oh hi tj how are you how are you uh, i hope you're well and now i wanted to show you the embossing folder which i misplaced but i have it this is my latest discovery my friends i've bought it from the craft stash and uh, the links, if anyone would like to have have a look, they're, they're pinned to the top. And this is the leafy powder from Sizzix. I absolutely love it. Um, I haven't tried it on this little uh, pieces like here, but it's lovely. It's got this leafy pattern design and it's just absolutely fantastic. So I'm gonna be placing my leaves here, hoping that it will look nice because this is very small design, uh, small size leaves, but I'll just put them that. And this embossing folder is a little bit thicker. So you may want to take off uh, a piece of your, like uh, your sandwich. This is what I found that uh, I don't need this additional embossing mat for, for this one. Let me just run that through. Drop all my 
leaves on the floor. My friends, what is wrong with me? Oh, just give me one second and I'll need to leave here. Okay, sorry my friends, I had an accident <laughs> and I dropped my leaves on the floor. I don't have as much space and I'm trying to avoid I should probably buy myself additional plates for the smaller machine I have uh, but I just thought about this on a Friday and this is what I need to do for a life to have this extra smaller machine on a use and look on that this embossing is just gorgeous now I'm grabbing my green piece here just a little bit of the spray just mix it up on a sponge and just ever so slightly on the edges as well just so I have some definition some dimension here and we're gonna be gluing our card together just uh, just in a second now let me see oh 46 minutes so there's maybe a chance that we're gonna do more than one today <laughs> if you have any time of course What am I doing? Okay. Fairless. What? Fairies. Oh. <laughs> uh, you don't need a fairies, TJ. You haven't Cindy. She's a best fairy. <laughs> right so i've got my teeny tiny leaves and let's try to put this card together we're gonna be needing some sentiments but we can add that one on later on <laughs> uh, right and now i'm just gonna use some um, sticky tape to adhere my bed to the card base And now, there we go, our beautiful background piece, which is really nice. I feel like with this, you know, letter pressing, embossing, debossing, coloring your embossing folders, you really have so much like choices automatically, like every time you can create something different. Like if you would be putting it different way up and, you know, add ink to your different site you will have different results so that way from you know one card you can make like five different cards and they all gonna be looking differently i kochani zobaczcie ja sobie tutaj akurat tą stronę posmarowałam e, jak robiłam to embosowanie że mi się te literki wgniotły tylko trochę żałuję że ten tusz za jasny wzięłam ale tamten mi się tak jakoś skroplił że się bałam że się wszystko rozmazia w każdym bądź razie, dodając kolor do waszych folderów do embossingu, automatycznie sobie, zobaczcie, zwiększacie, wiecie, tą pulę możliwości, że, że z jednego wyglądu tak naprawdę możecie zrobić 3 czy 4 papiery i każdy będzie ruszał, wyglądał inaczej. I'll need to have a look on that one, Cindy. I, I honestly, I just forgot my friend. I've started like looking the video and I've pressed the like so I could not forget later on and then I never come back to it and I am sorry <laughs> but hopefully tomorrow morning I will have time to catch up uh, my bottle got clogged so I need to use this skewer to just to unblock it uh, got a blob of the glue here always same story Never mind. Okay, now, zobaczcie. Dodaję sobie ciupkę kleju. I'm adding just a drop of the glue so I could, I could shift my paper if I have to, if it's not entirely straight. And then I am just putting it onto my card. And once I'm happy with the placement, oh, I never chop it off. Never mind. Never mind. Should do. 
Okay, and then I'm just peeling off my strips and the card is just glowing nicely all four sides. And I feel that whenever you're doing some techniques which are like embossing or something that your paper could be a little bit warped, it's always a good idea to add the tape to your edges. That way it's just like gluing ni much nicer than just a liquid glue. Okay, some um, foam tape. Where do I have you? Here. Oops, sorry. I'm sorry, sorry. And where is my glue gun? Where are you? Okay, I've got my glue gun. I'm just gonna put it on. So it starts heating up. And let me just add some foam tape. O, dziękuję bardzo, dziękuję bardzo. Cieszę się, że się podoba. E, sz, powiem szczerze, że nie pamiętam, jak gdzieś to podpatrzyłam, tego nie wymyśliłam z tą taśmą, e, ale to już było, nie wiem, chyba z 7 lat temu albo z 8 i ja nie pamiętam, nie pamiętam naprawdę, u kogo to pierwszy raz widziałam. My friends, I don't remember this trick with the tape. I've seen it somewhere, but it was just like ages ago i don't know like eight years or something and i don't remember where did i put it i'm adding my handle just because i don't want to glue it too too high uh, up because i'm quite good with this <laughs> gluing things too high and then it's impossible to you know have this nice composition on the cord now okay i'm adding the glue look on that just just like that that will glue down okay and I am ready to put my flowers on and I'm just adding them a little bit dimension by squeezing them on the top uh, on the middle and uh, I'm also changing them making sure they just like like a real flower composition just turn them around this way that way so they all look in nice and and maybe something like that okay just like that why not right okay and I'm gonna be start gluing it I like to put some dry run first so I could see where to glue my elements so they look nice. Now, this one in the middle, just like that. Zobaczcie. Na początku sobie ustawiam zawsze tak mniej więcej na sucho, jak ja bym chciała te elementy. I jak już jestem pewna, że tak mi się podoba, to sobie wtedy przyklejam. I najpierw klejam sobie moje y, kwiatusie. Oh, I'm adding my flowers first. Maybe just turn it around so they all look different. And then I am finishing off my composition with, uh, with the leaves. Just like that. And have a look on that, my friends. No dice, no scrapbooking papers, just the pieces of the white cardstock, couple of the embossing folders, which help us to create this, you know, uh, texture to all our elements. And we're having our first card ready. Basically. Uh, where do I put it? Oh, I think here will be looking nice. 
and voila now it's missing the sentiment and maybe one more thing I'm gonna be doing I'm just gonna add a little teeny tiny bow just to just to have something extra and where is my scissors where are you oh i'm looking for everything okay and yeah i'm just gonna show you carla i'm just gonna show you the closer look i just want to add a little bow here just a little bow on the sides and something maybe like a, uh, a half curl to finish it off and I'm just gonna be showing it and everything was made with the embossing folders kochani zobaczcie nasz koszyczek z kwiatuszkami wszystko zrobione z folderów do embossingu żadnych wykrojników żadnych zwykły biały papier tutaj no koszyczek był z brązowego ale zobaczcie Piękny, piękny, dla mamy, dla babci, na imieniny, na urodziny, wszyściutko zrobione z białego papieru. Have a look, my friends, how gorgeous it is. Now, there is some sentiment missing, and for that, I think, I think I had something here. Let me have a look. Mm. Crafty, f oh, friends, yeah, that one will be nice. That one will be nice, why not? My friends, I was thinking of the sentiment. I had some sentiment for um, embossing folders, but I have this beautiful uh, Sarah Davis one, Crafty Friends. This one will be Friends or Handmade Card, Craft Life. Inspire, oh, I like this one. Oh. I'm just gonna use one of them for my sentiment and the one I want to use will be the mm, the friends one why not that's gonna be for you my friends or I know I love this love one yeah I think I, I like this one yeah I'm gonna use that one no I'm not I'm indecisive today I'm indecisive, my friends, but just like that, I'm taking a piece of a card. Actually, I could do both. Why not? I could do both. So I'm having one for the friends and one for the love. And which one side I want? Mm -hmm. Nope. Uh, yes, this is the side I want to color. So, I'm gonna have that one here, that one here, and now I'm gonna do this love in pinkish color. Oh, there's a heart, but I don't think it will be enough. Oh, maybe that will be enough. And then I take this one which I was trying not to use in the first place oh yeah it's very and I'm gonna be adding the color to the friends part but now it's just soaking wet oh that, that one is a mess yep no uh, I need to clean it up never mind i'm just gonna wipe it a little bit i'm sorry i'm sorry but the, this is the ink failure well it's not the ink failure it's my own mistake because i was storing this ink i think this one lie upside down in my drawer so all the color has actually you know come off and now let me see where was this one now i'm gonna add this one to the front part I hope it will be oh, too much, too much. 
Okay. Very gently, Marta. Very, very gently. Okay. I'm just tapping it very gently. I have my bits ready and I'm closing it down. And I'm going to be sending through my uh, die cutting machine again. friends didn't work out but the love sentiment looks really really nice and oh no <laughs> my friends <laughs> that's the wrong side <laughs> what are you doing Marta that's the wrong side that I did oh no 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 of course of course Marta we all learn, we all learn, never mind, once again, I'm sorry, I'm sorry for keeping you, my friends. <laughs> uh, yes, I've just wiped it out, uh, Claire, thank you so much, this, this, this stress ink's just like, you know, running, absolutely running. Well, so, my friends, I did it the wrong way, yeah. So I have to repeat it. Unfortunately, you have to watch me repeating it. But yes. So let's do the friends just like that. Very, very gently. Okay, on top. Right. Oh, uh, something coming up here. Right. And then the pinkish one for the for the love okay now I'm closing it down and yes I did the I forgot I honestly forgot that you need to watch the side with the sentiment because it's gonna be the mirror effect which is no use here This one I'm gonna be chopping just like that I didn't leave enough space on the paper on this side but never mind it's life classes so I've got this love sentiment here and I'm having the friends one so I could cut that one out. And I could just place it and I'm gonna have in my sentiments for my card ready. Okay, now let me just drop that one off. And now, where is this wipe? Oh, my desk. Oh, my desk and the fingers are just covering the oxide ink. And it's my own mistake because I shouldn't be storing it in proper way. And I think this one is not having enough definition because it's the same color. So what I'm going to do, I will grab my brown ink. And I'm just gonna go over the edges and this is the best idea the quickest way you can uh, you know define your elements whether it's a black uh, ink or brown ink just give it a little bit extra you know uh, going over the edges and that way it will instantly pop from your uh, from your design 
depending on how much ink you, you add you can make it uh, you know uh, narrower or or more color but definitely you can just add this you know color and that way it's not gonna be as blending as much because this one is just showing beautifully the love and I probably now I can see that I think it would be looking nicer if I would did the friend sentiment in a pinkish color as well but I'm not gonna do that third time yeah exactly Monika Właśnie tak kochani, dodawanie kolorku na, na brzegach pomaga trochę właśnie tym elementom się odróżnić. I zobaczcie, mamy ten kolor. Uh, I really like the pinkish color one. Oh, do you know what? I'm gonna do it pinkish. I'm sorry. <laughs> you have to forgive me that, my friends. But I think the pink one, it will be looking much, much nicer. This one is just blending too much for my flavor. And I'm sorry for holding it, but at the end of the day, when we are creating, we all want our creation looks good. And I am, I am freak on that. If I don't like something, I'll be like, you know, changing it, changing it, changing it until I'm happy. So whenever you see, Whenever you see a ready product, ready card, and you think like, oh, this is nice, this is nice, and, you know, take under consideration, my friends, that I've probably did like five trials before. <laughs> right. Okay. So, last time. Last three times charm. Is that what they say? Up to three times charm. Yeah. I'm just very, very gently adding this pink color ink. And the crafty one as well and yeah I'm gonna grab the crafty one as well why not crafty and friends and I'm just locking in down okay and I'm just gonna last time third time charm I'm sending it through my die cutting machine sorry oh yeah look on that oh it was worth it it was absolutely worth it i love it i love it i love it i love it oh hi debbie hi claire hello everyone so look on that my friends i just love it and i love my crafty friends so that will be a perfect perfect sentiment i'm so happy i've tried another time and as you can see it looks much nicer and i think uh, it also looks nicer because uh, those type of the like memento like a uh, uh, dye ink they will be looking much better on this type of the technique comparing to the uh, splotchy distress inks so that could be another thing to keep on mind look on that i love it i love my crafty friends the card is for you and yes oh, so nice okay um i'm glad i've, I've changed it <laughs> so i'm just gonna add a little bit of the um, foam here I'm just gonna add a pieces of the foam just to rise my sentiments and our card is ready I'm not sure how we're doing with the time oh it's one hour it's one hour do we have a time for another quick card or not let me know my friends let me know what you think and if you have enough time to sit down another card hopefully it will be quicker <laughs> okay so i'm pressing the love here just like that okay and then yes oh thank you thank you debbie <laughs> oh 
Oh, yes, please, another card. Oh, perfect. Thank you so much, my friends. Now, my crafty friends, I love you all. And this is the sentiment to finish off my crafty card from the embossing folder. <laughs> Have a look. This is card for you, my friends. This is card for you. So without any further ado, let's do another card. Now, my friends, there is such a thing. I'm sure whoever is crafting a, long, a little bit longer, you know that some of the paper, there are some specialty paper, which are a uh, double core. They are color on one side and then they have the different type of the, you know, paper inside. So this one is brilliant for the technique when, whenever you can emboss and then you can use your sanding paper or something to take off the, the top layer of the, of the color and then re reveal the, um, reveal the Mm, the other color underneath. I think I've got this piece so I'm gonna be using that one Because we already did that and let me see something for the masculine card. Maybe Oh that one why not uh, Marta hurry up hurry up Marta hurry hurry up. Oh I like this one. I think this one will be nice Yeah so, okay, let's do this. I'm taking a piece of the specialty cardstock and I'm gonna be embossing it. And I want to, would that be okay? No, that's not large enough. Oh, this one would be nice for any masculine type of the card, the script embossing. Do you know what? There is something with this script embossing. I just love it. I love it and I just love it never have enough scripted embossing folders i think they're just elegant they modern whenever it's like a french script it could be very like a shabby chic and uh, yeah so i'm just embossing that one just very very quickly There we go it's very very elegant and two things you can do you can either use this like a, a gilding wax or something to go over the edges if you've got if you've got the traditional black color cardstock you can always emboss it and then take the uh, gilding wax or some gelatos or something on your finger or could be even like a white ink very very gentle uh, wash off the white ink as well and that will help you to reveal your pattern uh. <laughs> oh thank you claire <laughs> but do you know what <laughs> i need some exercise i've been sitting too much too much sitting eating biscuits drinking a coffee no i i could use some exercise really honestly <laughs> Besides, do you know what? Uh, I'm trying to avoid this putting this machine back and forth, back and forth. It, this physics one is really, really heavy. Uh, I couldn't find the um, sanding block, so I just need to bathroom to get my, uh, you know, nail buffer and look on that very, very gently. I am just sanding the top layer, and as I'm sanding this reveal this letter even more visible it makes them more visible okay and by the way here's the tip my friends if you're gonna go to this uh, renovation like a home base store or something make sure uh, you buy the sanding paper uh, this 400 uh, 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 there's the numbers the highest grade it's the the more like a settle one 
the lower grid name that will be very very harsh and not much use for the card maker and uh, just to save you time money and frustration because if you buy this high grid one that will be tearing your paper too much and you don't want to do that the i found the 400 I, I can't remember what the what's the name of this scale is but the grid 400 share oh, i can't remember but at least 400 and that's always looking you know working fabulously for me now let me grab i have some card base here which is brown so why not we create one card in the in the uh, feminine romantic style and now we're gonna do another one with this uh, with this uh, gentleman style more kind of a um, masculine type now Monica uh, my friend says oh she write it down in English <laughs> tak Monika mówi że właśnie dostała od męża kilka takich bloczków do y, z papierem ściernym także ma z czego korzystać więc mam nadzieję że porobisz kartkę razem ze mną dobra and now this one I need to chop a little bit Chop this side and then a little bit on the other side. Okay, and okay, now so I'll have this continuous pattern look on both sides. Perfect. Oh, maybe a little bit extra maybe just a teeny tiny bit extra and then here and here okay so we've got a lovely border we have this piece which we have to trim a little bit as well mm. Do you measuring everything, my friends? <laughs> I'm always wondering. Yeah. Are you measuring or are you just eyeballing everything like I do? <laughs> I must to tell you a funny story. Well, it wasn't funny. <laughs> I wasn't laughing. I thought I would be crying. Recently, I was sending my commission work uh, to one of the magazines and I've created a card and um, I was just sending it away and then <laughs> I found the card and I uh, last thing I have to do is to write down this kind of the instruction step by step and then you have to give all the measurements to your card to you know how um, so the whoever is reading the magazine they could you know follow your steps and I've packed everything and I'm sending my husband with the parcel because I was very like a short notice, like nearly deadline to send it. And then I'm sitting down to the computer to send the email and I'm writing down the step by step and I've not got the measurements. <laughs> and I'm just like quickly phoning him saying like, did you send it? Did you send it? No, come back home. <laughs> so I just return him <laughs> just so I could like, you know, take off the measurements and resend them back to the post office i'm telling you this man is having so much patience for me <laughs> that oh my goodness <laughs> but i would be in trouble so i need to pay more attention to to measurements okay here I've got it there now another thing I think we can do we can grab the embossing folder if we have something let me have a look what could be usable oh, that one's nice for masculine cards 
and I'm looking something I could use. Mm -hmm. Something good for the masculine card. Let me see. Oh, that one's nice as well. But it's not what I'm looking for. And no, I've got nothing. How come? How come I have nothing? Okay, I'll use that one and oh this one this one will be nice this is what i was looking for now i will take another piece of the card mm, this pinkish color and i'm gonna emboss this bits here okay Chopping it off and I'll take the word inspire from this one. I do have another bit of the, no, I want a different color. I do have another bit of the, um, what I was going to say. Oh no, tell me there's no more the same. No, how is this possible? How is this possible? Oh, I have another block. Maybe you will be here. Please, please. No. No. Let's use it. Ah, never mind. I'm gonna find something else which will be looking nice. And I think this color will be looking nice. Okay. Okay. There's all sorts of different techniques as well involved with the embossing folders. Obviously, I'm just showing a little bit. This is just a tip of the iceberg. You can do so much, but we could sit like 10 hours here and probably not make, you know, all of them. And you still have nothing. What is it? A je, ta właśnie Martusia, też mogę tak zrobić. Też mogę tak zrobić, ale miałam troszkę inny pomysł, zamysł. I teraz tak, my friends, I'm gonna be putting through those two together. And now, just gonna run to my machine, which is on the floor. So that will be my daily a daily amount of the exercise <laughs> for today live and exercising who would think of that my friends this is gonna be my crafting gym <laughs> okay I've got the one is it nice yes and then this okay Oh no, 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 I've put it wrong way. Ah, oh, I've not got luck today. I've not got luck with these papers. My friends, where are you? Okay, I'm just coming back. I'm just coming back. I just need to... Mm -hmm. Okay, this way up. I just put it wrong way up, my friends. Right. Okay, I'm having it. I'm just coming back. <laughs> I'm sorry, my friends. I'm sorry. So this one i want to take off the color and just reveal it just a little bit
Now, one more thing I want to do is I'm going to take this uh, luster wax here and I'll just try. Oh, yeah. That will be looking nice. And I'm just very, very gently going over this rice bits. I didn't even have to sand it, my friends, because it's looking so, so nice. And I just absolutely love the look of it. Thank you so much, Cindy. I just love this product. I actually have this, uh, this piece. Oh, by the way, <laughs> whoever watched my other life when I was looking for it, I've solved the mystery. I've just put it away in my embossing powder drawer and I couldn't find it for the rest of my life. And then once the life was over, I was cleaning up, putting my stuff away. I'm opening my drawer and there it is. There it is waiting for me. Oh my goodness. I was like, no, now you're here. Now you're here when I don't need you anymore. Well, obviously I need it because I'm still using it, but uh, I need it when I need it and it wasn't there. Uh, so, okay. And now this one, Inspire, I'm going to be just revealing the color with my... Just leaving this stitching line, which is really, really nice. And I'll just cut around this. And then I'm gonna cut a couple of the flowers from the other embossing. chop off those little hanging bits because it will take me forever to cut around them so I'm just cutting literally the flower on its own mm, okay I'm just skipping those those little uh, decorative elements because otherwise it would just take me forever and I need another one. Okay, and let me just add some color. Well, that's too much. Just adding this bit here. I put too much product. Okay, but I'm just gonna hide it. And then last bit here. This is the right side. Bit nie sobie środek. Ah, to było. Oh, why is my... Okay, and now let me see. There we go. I'm just quickly fussy cutting it. Now, and just very, very gently adding some color, just a little bit. Just a teeny tiny bit, my friends, just to reveal this part. So as you can see, this one I did with the sanding block. This one a little bit, but th honestly, there was no need for the sanding block. Uh, this one wasn't barely sanded. And by adding this uh, wax 
it's just color it nicely itself so i'm just gonna put up my second card and again no dice no anything else apart from our embossing folders and some coloring mediums i hope this life obviously as i've mentioned before we could use a tons of other techniques you can do uh, embossing with embossing powder you can like you know uh, do all sorts of, of, of different technique or different materials. Another thing which I really really love to emboss and I forgot to do it. Well, I forgot. No, well, I can't, I can't just do everything uh, if we're doing, a, if we're doing the, the card. Uh, but another thing which I really really love to emboss is actually the vellum. The vellum is beautiful and it's just one of my favorite things to emboss as well. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video, this live classes, and I'm hoping that you've created something together with me. Where's my glue? Where is my glue? Uh, my desk is absolutely covered in different bits, and I just don't know where I've got everything. But I'm gonna add this this glue here instead and that will do the job as well right way up okay i am just gluing it oh i wish cindy i wish but next life we're having the uh, explosion box but i will add the vellum at some point to, to another crafting by the way my friends I don't think I will be doing the live classes next week to be honest because it's a summer I'm working now all Saturday I've got like a couple Saturdays on a row with a very very long shift and um, next week we've been invited to visit our friends and I think I will just skip one week so I'm hoping that you won't mind me that we're not gonna be see each other next week but we'll see each other on the 8th of the august i think because i really want to spend some summer time with my family and the friends a little bit and having the live classes on a sunday at five i'm not always getting a chance to you know <laughs> to be outside and now working on a on a sun saturday whole day I just thought like I'm gonna skip one week if you don't mind me my friends I hope you don't and then we'll see each other week after <laughs> oh thank you Cindy <laughs> yeah I hope you don't mind I really do I love having this live classes and everything I really really love being here with you but we're not always getting long especially that oh here's my glue here's my bottle of the glue found it uh, kochani uh, chyba w przyszłym tygodniu się nie zobaczymy tylko za dwa tygodnie dlatego że uh, no dostaliśmy zaproszenie do znajomych i też po prostu uh, no muszę troszkę czasu z rodzinką spędzić a wiadomo że że też nie zawsze jest szczególnie że u nas tutaj w tej Szkocji jest zazwyczaj brzydka pogoda I oh, I like this one. Maybe, maybe. I po prostu jeden dzień wolnego mi się przyda. Ale mam nadzieję, że nie macie mi tego za złe. Zobaczcie, przyklejam sobie te kwiatuszki nasze. I już kończymy. Druga karteczka z folderów do embossingu. Oh, thank you so much, Carla. I really, really appreciate you, everyone, your support and understanding, my friends. I really do. And I'm so lucky and happy to have you all. And let me just finish it off. Do you know what? I think I'm going to reach for gold. Because, I don't know. Should I finish off with these ones? Or maybe that one? Uh... I think I like the gold one more. I don't know. The gold or the flat? I cannot decide. 
Yeah, I'll go with the gold. <laughs> I don't know. Just a pop of sparkle. Okay, and the smaller one will be one. Let me see. Yeah, why not? Okay. We've got a... Um, I'm gonna finish it off. Zobaczcie, przyklejam sobie troszeczkę odrobinę kleju i te małe złote kuleczki bo one mi tu dadzą taki fajny efekt coś się będzie działo zawsze fioletowy, czarny bardzo daje fajny taki właśnie kontrast ze złotem także dobra so my friends our card is ready so with the help of the embossing folders with the help of the embossing folders we've created a masculine version of the card says inspire I, I didn't cut it straight so apologies <laughs> and the feminine version which one you like the most I think they both really nice I really think they both turn really really nice so um, yeah so I hope you enjoy it mam nadzieję, że, że Wam się podobało dziękuję Wandziu, dziękuję naprawdę Wam serdecznie kochani, bardzo Wam dziękuję uh, thank you so much Madeline Uh, thank you, Ella, uh, Monica, Susie, Cindy. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone. Uh, uh, oh, Susie, you were asking about the, um, this wax. Uh, this is the luster wax from Sizzix. I'm not sure. Uh, I need to check whether it's in a craft stash store, but I'm not quite sure. I've got it from Cindy. So, uh, yeah, I don't think there was any other question. Uh, oh, vellum next week. Yeah, I'm gonna add the vellum week after. So we're not gonna see each other next week, but week after we've got planned for the uh, explosion box. I didn't want to do explosion box together with the embossing because there's lots of cutting, uh, chopping with the embossing box uh, and explosion box, and that will take too much time together with uh, um, embossing folders. So I have a plan for the explosion box next week my friends and yeah now uh, one more thing I need to do my friends is the competition there was um, not many entries on the on the uh, what am I saying on both craft world and the Facebook and what I came up with let me see where is this uh, number generator I had I had it somewhere and I've just lost it. I've lost it, I've lost it, I've lost it. I'm looking for it. Oh, random number. So, there was only nine numbers on a craft word and I'm gonna be drawing two of them. So from nine to one is a number, oh, done, generate. So number four, and then next one is one to nine, uh number three okay so number three and number four are the winner on the on the craft word and there was two numbers on the facebook and let me see which one either one or two. <laughs> oh my goodness what is it two no 92 two one and two and number one number one on the facebook and then number three and four on the craft world three prizes my friends uh, i have a little delay with sending the um, last week and week before parcels so i'm, I'm apologies for that my friends uh, but i'll get there i've got everything ready i've got the list who to send what <laughs> i hope i'm not gonna be missed uh, yeah but i'll see you Oh, how to enter the competition. Madeline, uh, every week I'm putting a post uh, on the event. If you sign up on the Facebook event or on the expert page on the craft world, there is a special post and all comments I am just drawing after uh, there's a winner. I'll put that probably sometime this week. I've put the event for week after. So everyone know that it's not the next Sunday, but week after Sunday, which is eight of the of the August we'll see you there 
and then the inside there is always this post with uh, with them um, with everyone can leave the comment thank you so very much dziękuję wam bardzo kochani numer uh, jeden z facebooka to była jedynka? Jedynka chyba zdaje się. Jedynka z Facebooka i numer 3 i 4 z Crossword. Wysyłam Wam małą niespodziankę. Coś miłego. Może jakiś embossing folder właśnie dorzucę, bo mam tego mnóstwo. Także kto wygrał, niech się skontaktuje, napiszę. Ja trochę mam opóźnienia z wysłaniem ostatnich paczek, ale niestety <laughs> życie, kochani, życie. Thank you so very much, my friends. Thank you. Uh, stay blessed. I am sending you my love, hugs and thank you for being here. I'll wrap it up in a post in a minute and see you shortly in two weeks. Bye-bye.